Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial slash walkthrough. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this flashlight. So I start off with a cylinder here, and as you can see, I'm just extruding the cylinder out and scaling out each edge to get the basic profile for the flashlight. Um, what I'm doing here is just adding a small bevel. And now what I want to do is actually want to cut into the side of the flashlight here. So I just made a few cubes and used a Boolean modifier to do that. Next I'll cut a hole for the button and then I'll just make the button out of a cylinder with a bevel modifier. I'll then use a small cylinder to cut a notch in the back for the loophole adjustment on the back of the flashlight. I'll then use a small cube as well as another Boolean modifier to cut a hole through that cube for where the string would go if you had a lanyard or something like now that. Now I'm just adding flashlight. some additional ridges to the flashlight and adjusting the proportions of the flashlight itself. After I do that, I'm going to cut some notches with more Boolean modifiers and a curve modifier right into those notches as well as the actual flashlight. As you can see, there's a lot of adjustments needed and you really need to play with the Boolean modifiers to get the desired result. Next, I'll cut a small hole for the flashlight lens and then I'll split a sphere in half to create the actual lens itself. And then you'll see me use some more Boolean modifiers to cut those notches in the front of the flashlight. Next, I'm just gonna add a plane and add some loop cuts to the plane and adjust the actual vertices themselves to create this small clip that's on the flashlight. I'll do the same thing for the cylindrical part as well. And then I'll just cut some notches in with Boolean modifiers and I'll add a solidify modifier to give it some thickness. Now, for this grid pattern that you see on the flashlight, it occurs in a couple places. I basically just added a cube and had an array modifier connected to the cube and then I wrapped a curve circle around our flashlight and I applied my modifier. After that I just scaled as needed and adjusted the cubes as I needed for the actual proportions of the flashlight. And last but not least I will add an HDRI for my scene lighting. I'll add a small plane and an area light just to get some basic scene set up here. Adjust my camera set up some depth of field, apply a metallic shader to my flashlight, add my logo, I will color the button red, and then I'll just kind of set up my render. 